Welcome to the Art Project. This is another project done in conjunction with Artiskula.com, and you can find a link in the description down below. So <clears throat> we're taking templates of geometric shapes, otherwise known as polygons, and we are drawing patterns on the surfaces of these polygons. Uh, for uh, this one right here, I decided to do just a simple uh, concentric circle uh, pattern, uh, which eventually is just pretty much going to look like stripes. Uh, I took a compass and I uh, made several concentric circles and then I took a sharpie and I colored in each uh, stripe. When I was all done, I cut it out carefully where, with a pair of scissors, uh, being careful to cut around the tabs that are on the template. Uh, you can probably also find the link to these templates, to these polygons, in the description down below. So after carefully cutting out the shape, I then took a ballpoint pen and a straight edge and I made a little dent on each crease. Now I used a ballpoint pen, which of course leaves me with a little black line on every corner. If you don't want the black line, you could probably use a toothpick or some other sort of pointy objects to create a, a little indentation. And what this does is it helps me to bend the shape right on the line and create a more perfect shape, a more perfect form. So. Uh, once I got that uh, done, I then took some Elmer's glue and put on the edges and on the tabs and I, I spread them so that they were all the way to the edge and so they weren't too, um, so that the glue wasn't too thick. The thicker the glue, the longer it takes for it to dry. The thinner the glue, um, the less it's going to hold. So you got to find a nice little happy medium. Um, and it's just important to be able to be patient with the glue and wait for it to dry. So I'm going to hold it. Uh, I would usually end up holding each little side for about one minute. And uh, of course the video is sped up so you can't really tell that. But I would hold each side for about one minute. And when I got around to the very end it was really kind of hard to hold it closed. So I just made sure that the tabs were bent outwards a little bit and then applied pressure downwards on the table. And when I'm done with that one, that's what it looked like. For my second one, I decided to do more organic shapes. Uh, so the forms themselves are geometric, and they look good with geometric patterns. But I decided to make an organic pattern for this one, which is simply just sort of a flower shape with a couple of uh, circles or um, holes in each uh, petal and in, each, uh, and in the middle of each one. So uh, because this one was not quite as straightforward, I sketched it all out with a pencil first, and then I went over everything with a Sharpie. Uh, careful to fill it in and make it nice and neat and use good craftsmanship when, when coloring it in. And uh, take your time. And so just like I did this one right here, I did the other shapes um, pretty fast. And then again, I cut it out carefully around the edges of each tab all the way around the polygon shape, all the way around the template. Once I got it all cut out, I then used my straight edge and my ballpoint pen to make an indentation on each line so that it would bend easier and bend right on the line that I wanted it to bend on. And then I took time to bend each one uh, individually. And then again, I applied the glue um, a little bit on the tab and then spread it with my finger and then made sure there wasn't too much glue on there and then held it carefully for about one minute on each tab. Once I was done, uh, they looked really good and I just kind of enjoyed playing around with the two of them and making different shapes, uh, different formations or sculptures. Uh, one thing to consider is that this, is, uh, this could lead to bigger sculptures 
Uh, you could even fill them with sand and use them as paperweights or put magnets in them and use them as a magnet for your dry erase board or um, whatever. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it was helpful. Now, go make some art.